hello guys and welcome uh, today we're gonna work on our cart page we can uh, change uh, the quantities and we also set a validation so if you set to zero it's not gonna take in fact it's gonna kick back the old values that we had Uh, and we are also able to remove items from the cart. Again, the new values is going to be reflected. Okay, so let's start by defining a property called items. We're going to inject the cart service inside the constructor. And then we're going to subscribe to the cart items. And the data we received from there, we're going to assign it to the array or property that we just defined now inside uh, our template component we're gonna have uh, a div that checks the length which is the number of the length which is the number of element is less than zero we want to display this section only Okay, so if the item length is greater than zero, it means it has some elements in there. We're going to loop through through the items and we're also going to retrieve the index number of that specific item. I have a font awesome icon where I'm going to bind an event of click to it. In the image box, I'm just going to display the first image of zero in this case and as well we're gonna be uh, displaying other uh, properties and information of the items the currency pipe is just to have a dollar sign in front of the value as for the input uh, field we're gonna have the type of number and and the value attribute actually we're going to be using the brackets so we will be able to bind uh, the quantity of the item itself to the input field we're also going to have an event that will be triggered once we take the focus away from the input field as for the subtotal we just gonna multiply the item price by the item quantity and again we are using the currency pipe to have the dollar sign in front of the value in our ts file we're gonna start uh, working on our methods the first one is on delete which is going to be receiving the index number we are using the splice method to remove only one items based on the index number that we pass and we are calling the set cart data and pass the new modified items to it so inside our validate input method we are receiving the element the field element and the index number the first thing we're gonna do is to extract the value of that input field and convert it to a number since it's going to be a string and we are going to check if the value that we receive is less than one so if it is zero or negative numbers we want to extract the current quantity of the items and assign it back to the input field However, if the value is greater than zero, we're gonna call the quant 
quantity or quantity updated method so what this does is just uh, assign the new quantity that we pass to the specific quantity of that item and then set the data I tried zero but it didn't work so it says quantity of undefined this on my product model I do have the quantity property so it must be something else yeah so uh, the index it should be on the other side I equal index This is just uh, a bootstrap class which is going to change the color to red. Now we're going to start working on the last part which, which is the checkout section. Uh, basically you don't really need that flex basis because the checkout it's not uh, a flex item uh, that was my plan initially but then I changed so you don't even need uh, the rub or the flex basis properties Now I'm going to define the total property and it's going to be of type number. So down here I'm going to define the get total method which is going to receive an array. I'm going to start by defining uh, a subs variable and initially I'm going to assign it with the value of zero. I will loop through the data that I just received and multiply each item price by by their respective quantities and uh, accumulate all these values and assign it to the subs and the sub will be assigned to the total. if we just call the get total by itself we're gonna have an issue if the items is null or empty so we need to do this check We also going to call this get total method inside the get updated 
quantity updated and on the lead method as well don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the next section we're gonna work on the sign in and sign up by using the Firebase uh, services. Thank you for watching.